culinary delights. I'm your guest host, Alexandra. Today we're going to make fettuccine and meatballs from Tony's Town Square restaurant at Disney World. You'll need one celery stalk diced, comes out to approximately two thirds of a cup. You'll need one small onion diced, or about one and a half cups. One and a half teaspoons of garlic chopped. One eighth of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. 12 ounces of tomato paste. 10 and 3 quarter ounces of tomato puree. And two 28 ounce cans of tomatoes with their juice. For spices, we'll need a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon black pepper, a half teaspoon basil, dried, a half teaspoon oregano, one and a half bay leaves, and then a dash each of thyme, chili powder, rosemary, and paprika. And lastly, a quarter cup of sugar. To start off, put a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil into a large pot. Turn your heat on to medium. You add the celery, and onion, and the garlic. Then you saute those three ingredients. You want the onions to be translucent. You don't want them to brown. And be careful with the garlic, make sure it doesn't start to burn. We have the tomato paste, the tomato puree, and the two cans of crushed tomatoes with juice. Then you add your spices. And combine. Now the hard work's done. Just leave it on the stove and let it simmer for an hour and a half. At which point you can taste it and correct any of the seasonings. Would probably be best to put a lid on it just so it doesn't splatter. Before you start mixing up the meatballs, it would be a good idea to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. We're now ready to move on to the meatball portion. To make the meatballs, you need approximately half a pound of Italian sausage. You can either buy it in bulk or if you can only get it in the casing in sausage form, it's very easy to remove the casing. Then you add approximately one and a half pounds of ground beef, a quarter cup onion minced, breadcrumbs, the water, one egg, the quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, the salt, and the spice mix. And then you get to get dirty, get your hands dirty, and mix it all up. Once everything is thoroughly mixed, you take a 
baking sheet and you can make your meatballs any size that you wish. The recipe mentions golf ball size, but if you like them large or smaller, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Once your oven has reached 350 and you have your meatballs formed and onto the trays, you can put them into the oven on the middle rack. After about 20 minutes, the meatballs should be ready. Take them out of the oven. And transfer them to the spaghetti sauce which has been simmering. And if the meatballs haven't quite finished cooking, that's all right because they'll finish up in the sauce. Give your sauce with the meatballs a stir. Put the lid back on and it can continue simmering for another hour and approximately 15 minutes or until you're ready to eat. Next bring a big pot of water to a full boil and select your favorite pasta. We're going with fettuccine tonight into the pot. Okay, once the pasta is done, drain it. Add the sauce. And that's fettuccine and meatballs from Tony's Town Square restaurant at Disney World. Please visit us at culinarydislike.com or email us at info at culinarydislike.com. Remember, if we can do it, so can you.